Our study aimed to evaluate the effects of serratus anterior plane, SAP block, on post-operative pain after thoracoscopic surgery compared with local anesthetics, LA infiltration. Since Blanco discovered SAP block in volunteer in 2013, then the SAP block is used to relieve pain in patients with rib fractures or ophageal cancer. However, most patients complain about the pain of chest tube after thoracoscopic surgery. The chest tube directly stimulates the contraction and spasm of the serratus anterior muscle, which aggravates the pain. Fortunately, SAP technique blocks the cutaneous branch of intercostal nerve as well as the long thoracic nerve. We performed the SAP block in the lateral position after induction of general anesthesia. After skin disinfection, the ultrasound probe placed in the mid axillary line between the fifth and sixth ribs. It is easy to identify the superficial latissimus dorsi muscles and deep anterior serratus muscles. And then, using the in-plane technique, injected local anesthetics into the fascia plane. Under ultrasound, segments can be seen to be propped up by local anesthetics. This promising technique is easy to master. From patient flow diagram, finally, we enrolled 40 adult patients undergoing thoracoscopic surgery. There was a significant reduction in VAS score in the SAP group compared to the LA group up to eight hours postoperative, whether at rest or uncoughing. Postoperative sulfatonil consumption in the SAP group during eight hours was significantly lower. Our current randomized trial firstly compared the SAP block with local wound infiltration in thoracoscopic surgery. The SAP block provided a superior pain relief in the early postoperative period, with significantly lower pain scores and less opiate consumption up to eight hours. SAP block is expected to be a multi-mode analgesic supplement strategy in thoracic department when thoracic epidural analgesia fails or affected by anticoagulants. Thank the patients who participated in this study, and thank my colleagues.